Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I was running the roads the last two days trying to solve a problem. I, as you know, I took the wheels off the trailer and all I need now is new rubber on the rims. And I finally tracked some down yesterday and it was a long drive and I went there and thankfully I took the tires with me because I found out these are what people call the killer rims or suicide rims. Uh, it's two of the terms I heard when showing people these rims. I'm actually not comfortable with them at all anymore now that I know. This has the locking ring that goes onto the rim. You put on the tire, you put on your locking ring on your rim and these love to explode and go off flying through the air and kill people and cut things in half. And nobody will touch these around here. So I found tires that will fit my trailer but nobody will do it. So that was scratched. So then today I was over at the land with the old man and he cut off with a torch because they weren't coming off and didn't do a nice job on the rim there but this was just for testing there are six matching tires and rims and he cut them off with a torch rather than um, you know taking the, the nuts off neatly if to see if this would work I can then go back and get the other ones it's a lot 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 of work to turn them off but they will turn off it matches it goes on my trailer but these are even harder tires to find. These are 8 17.5. These are 17 and a half inch rims. They fit my trailer and they give me a little bit more ground clearance. But I can't find the tires now. So here I sit trying to get my trailer back on the road. Um, I've got safe rims. Now I have to try to find 8 17.5 tires so we are still sitting here out of commission with my um, log hauling trailer but at least I you know I, I found six matching well now five matching rims that'll work because that's pretty badly slaughtered I won't trust that anymore that can't be fixed those are cut up but you know he wanted to get it off so I could compare the others are still there if I want them I'll probably end up going to get them because those other, the other option, the other tires are just dangerous. There's the uh, the rims are just dangerous. The other option is to put another axle under here, but there's nothing wrong with the axle. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. And look at the, look at the springs on that thing. That's some heavy, heavy duty springs. That is. <laughs> that is some serious heavy duty. They, this thing he used to put two cords, a uh, cord and a half he said, which is probably 4,500 pounds on this little trailer. And he said he used to load this up. He had side rails on this thing and loaded it up. So all I need is to get tires for these rims, I guess, and get them on there. So for now, I'm going to get the uh, old tires on it so at least I can haul mowers and small equipment. I am still dealing in lawn mowers and small engine equipment. It's what I do and I always did and I probably always will. So I'll get this put back together because that crane is a beauty. That is so nice to have. I love it and it's such a good tool for this. So I'll get this put back together. I don't know if I'll get to it today or not because I'm running the roads sorting my life out right now. Uh, planning things, organizing things, getting equipment together, uh, getting ready for the winter, getting firewood. I got a source of firewood that we got to go get and um, my old Husqvarna is getting tired and uh, well let's go talk about, look at the Husqvarna. My good old Husky 450 somebody sent me that as a gift years ago when I was back in New York and Chris and I we cut a lot the cords of wood with that saw. This saw has done a lot of work and I still use it. It's my main go-to saw but it's getting tired. Um, it'll start and run but once I go through a tank of gas on a hot day 
I can't get it running again for anything until I let it cool down. So uh, some people have said maybe it's a carburetor. Uh, others have said it's just you know piston ring wear with age. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm probably going to take this in to a Husky dealer and see what it costs to get this renovated, to rebuilt, because I really love this saw. This has always been my number one saw all these years, and I love it very much. I am not going to part with it, and I hope to renew it. But I found a saw I'm going to get today, and I'll probably show you later when we get home. And if, it, if it's as good as it looks like on, uh, online, it's a beauty. And it'll be my, uh, my main saw, an old Husky. Will be, uh, I'll use it. It runs for a tank of gas. And then it uh, needs to cool down, so uh, it's not a long-term uh, tool anymore, and I'm not as efficient as I could be. So that'll give me an opportunity to get this old boy in and see if I can get it renewed by a professional dealer. It's served me well. I love it. Well, guys, the other day, other night, we went and got another piece. This was a truckload. There was this and all the um, rails and the, there's the table saw, there's the cabinets, the roller base, it has wheels, there's the router table, the router, and a bunch of other pieces and attachments that we went and got. There was a truckload, just this in itself. It's seven foot wide by three foot deep by, I don't know, maybe 30 something tall. and. Uh, I hope there's still a lot of life in these old tools because that is a really, really good piece of equipment to have in the wood shop. So I've got it here and we've got it put together. The router table, um, this has all been sitting for two years, so the router table was out in a barn. Well, it was all out in a, um, a I shouldn't say barn, it was a nice metal shed, but it was um, probably damp it was not uh, climate controlled so I'm gonna have to redo the laminating the lamination on this but that's not a big deal it will be one of my first projects in my new wood shop is to fix all that but there's that that's a craftsman 10 inch and uh, boy there's parts in here oh there's extra stuff in here there's um, there's dado blades there's a whole couple boxes of dados and uh, there's extra three bandsaw blades for the bandsaw. There's actual extra pieces and there's something there handmade that he made. I don't know what that's exactly to. I'm going to have to go through and figure out everything he had. There's some extra screws in there um, over on the router table. It's awkward to pull out but there's a whole box full of router bits and some more hardware for all the tables and legs and things. There's a bunch of pieces. The only damage uh, is right down there got hurt during transportation probably to where it was stored for the last two years. Other than that everything seems good and of course the lamination but that's fixable. That's not a problem. Any Anybody that plans on doing woodworking should certainly be able to relaminate a tabletop I would say. So that'll be a good project for me to do. And uh, yeah, we're getting it put together. And I cleared out pathways. I've got to get all the engines out. They're going to move out. I've got a pathway through here to get around and then over and up to the other side. And eventually all this, this whole place is going to be emptied and insulated. I'm going to start on that really soon here. We did have a garage sale and uh, I mentioned that. And during the garage sale, I got the truck going. The old truck is running again. Brand new fuel lines, front to back. All new nylon fuel lines, um, snap in place. Was $169 on Amazon. I can put the link down if I remember, or if somebody reminds me if I forget. $169 for, um, it's the Chevy trucks and a lot of others. And I'm telling you, it was a snap. I we were very busy on Saturday with customers so this took me three four hours it should according to the instructions it says it's a one hour do-it-yourself in your yard project which may have been if I had done it un uninterrupted but uh, I did it in between customers because we had to go and haul the tools that evening and uh, so I did it 
and it runs and I love it this and Melanie's starting to love it now she's starting to respect and love the truck and uh, understands how great it is to have so um, it's on the road I've been using it these that's from our apple tree these are from our guineas now it's very strange that every egg looks different different colors different speckles different shapes different sizes but that's from our guinea fowl I, I just don't get why we're getting so many different sizes and shapes and colors and spots and everything I mean there's quite a difference that's a really big contrast between the different eggs but we're getting eggs and we eat them we are eating them from our own birds and they taste just like a chicken egg they're just a lot smaller you can see next to my fingers they're not some of them aren't big at all but they're good and they're ours and that's happiness and that is what I brought home today it's a Forester Pro series steel it's a um, O25 and it's uh well still has the original sticker on the top although that could have been a replacement I'm wondering if that part is that's not original that's been replaced so that's been broke off and that's brand new and the so this has been renewed so to some extent got I wish I knew the history of it but I think the person that had it is no longer but uh definitely has a newer bar brand new chain on it bonus um, brand new is it lock I'm not sure if that even works anymore I'm not sure I'll have to check that out I just got it but it starts runs runs really good and uh, it's a workhorse it's gonna be a workhorse it's also it looks like my husky it's all orange and white and um, it's going to run, and it's lightweight. It's very comfortable. I ran it for quite a few minutes and, and got a good feel for it. Uh, no vibration, and I got a real good feel for it before I uh, handed over the cash and, and brought it home. But that'll cut some firewood for us here in the homestead for sure. Look at this. She put this in. This year look at that catmint is massive and there's something I think Michelle planted I don't know what it is and I don't know what it's gonna do but look at that I love this one that was a tiny tiny little plant when we brought it home and it's spreading out beautifully look at that one look at that thing it's spreading out so nice Everything in her little bed is doing good. Really growing. Everything is, look at that, spread out all over. Now over here, um, the cabbage family plants might still make it because they like cold weather. Look at the flowers. We all enjoy just coming through here and looking at her flowers this year. They're doing good this year. She's even got some little tiny ones. And more are still to come. And her rose is still f flowering. Really pretty. It's still growing. And look at these. These really just are loving it now. Look at how that bushed out. This is our best ever this year. In the flowers. And we went and got that soil from the Amish. And we, we mulched and we... Uh, put a lot into this this year this one was just a little one gallon pot when we got it and it's spreading out really nice well guys another day is done I didn't get the trailer put together today like I thought um, road trip to get the saw took a while anyway I need it because I just got a whole mess of trees uh, 20 30 live trees that I can take down 
some for the mill, some for firewood. And uh, I got to start cutting. So I couldn't wait around and, and get the other one repaired. I had to get going right away. Actually, the Husqvarna still runs, and I'm going to run it through a tank of gas each day. And then uh, that can cool while I'm running the steel. So now I can swap out saws. Uh, colder weather's coming. The uh, summer's coming to a close, but our garden harvest is picking up. And we had a lunch today. I don't know if I can remember everything. There was uh, um, spring onions, I think she called it, green onions, the, the leaf part of an onion, corn from our own garden, tomatoes from our own garden, carrots, and um, everything everything that she put in there was from our garden so it was really good it tasted all that much better because of it we've got a heap of mulch to spread over the garden floor over the greenhouse floor but we're eating oh cucumbers oh wow we got cucumbers galore last night we had uh she made sushi with uh, our own cucumbers and our own carrots i think was in it too so we're enjoying our own harvest now. The cold, cooler weather, the, the heat of summer was killing our plants. It stunted them basically. In the cooler weather, um, now they're growing. So actually, unfortunately, I don't think they're gonna have a chance. I do wanna show you this. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> we're getting a new harvest of tomatoes. No. Have you ever seen a cherry tomato that small? They're actually flowering, growing, and ripening. That tiny. How cute is that? I don't know why, but it's loaded. Look at the flowers. It is loaded and bearing fruit heavily. But they're micro fruits. I don't get it. It's the weirdest thing, but it's happy. Over here, let me see if I walk around. We've got some kind of a thing I don't know where it, what it is exactly but it's growing see we've got corn we've been eating corn out of here here we got tomatoes Melanie's harvesting tomatoes from our garden they're all starting to turn uh, the plant isn't looking good anymore though uh, because of the colder weather and we've got some kind of a thing I don't even know what that is growing in here there's a few of them and this finally took off. Um, we lost all our labels. I don't know exactly what it is, but this one took off. I don't know if I'd find the label. Oh yeah, here. Um, this is a chili red hot pepper, it says. They're gonna be hot little red peppers. And they're coming. Wow, it's looking good. It's a healthy plant. And here we have um, jalapenos. I don't know, it's starting to flower. And up in here, I don't know what this is. It came with a straw. It looks like... Oh, it's stiffer. No, it's got a sweet smell. I have no idea what that is. Never seen such a thing. Our fava beans are starting to grow, although it's probably too late. Probably way too late. Um, this tomato is branching out. I tried to stake it up, but it's just overgrowing uh, its hold. And here, I just hope that the cold weather doesn't kill it because it's getting colder nights. This is loaded and really starting to grow. Really, really starting to grow. So I might have to just get the roof on the greenhouse quicker than I had planned. We're not into freezing yet, but it's, um, it's not happy. And look at this. Look at this chili. That is thick. Thick, full of chilies. Just massive. I don't know what this one is because I lost the label. But this one is heavy bearing right now. I'm loving it. I love hot peppers. Look at that. That's a happy one. Now our summer squash is dying off. They gave it their best. Um, these corn plants may or may not make it yet. They're starting to yellow. Um, so I don't know if they're going to make it yet or not. And potatoes are getting ready to harvest. Melanie harvested some a little while ago. 
Sweet potatoes I'm probably going to take in and try to preserve through the winter if we can uh, in, the, in the other greenhouse and see if we can prolong their life. And um, yeah, the garden, the garden is starting to bear fruit. She's got okra which started now bearing fruit but I just don't think it has time. And the peanuts are starting to grow but I just think it's too late. We got a little watermelon growing, probably too late. Um, you can feel the cold nights coming on. And we've been eating sweet potato leaves. I never knew you could do it, but she cooks them. They're good. We've been eating something else has been stripping all the leaves off too. Oh, well that's where she took out the potatoes. So we're eating. It's turning out all right. Well guys, the day has come to a close and we have filled our bellies with our harvest. It's been a good day on the homestead and things are going to get better and better. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share and follow our videos, hopefully daily again, when we get internet as we strive to become fully self-sufficient and off the ground on a budget. Talk to you all later.